Hello everyone, so in today's video, I'm going to be giving you a full tour of my shipwreck themed aquarium. So my tank is the Top Fin 20 Gallon Aquarium, and this theme was inspired by the wheel ornament you see in the middle. I actually got it from my boyfriend for Christmas, and as soon as I saw it, I really knew that I wanted to incorporate my large shipwreck ornament to make a full theme, and so this is what I came up with. I really loved how it turned out, and so I decided to film a full tank tour for you guys. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is just this large plant. Um, I specifically put it right here um, to cover up the heater, and I put it behind the shipwreck to make it look like the shipwreck had been there a while, and there's a lot of greenery growing over it. So that is why I decided to put that there. And I got this plant from Petco when I took a vacation down to the States. Now moving on to the shipwreck, this is a very large shipwreck ornament that I got from PetSmart for only $25. Um, so when I bought it, I just thought it was a really good bang for the buck, um, and so I ended up picking it up, and it's one of my favorite ornaments just because of how detailed it is. It was my first large ornament as well. Um, all of my bettas really like it just because it is such a large ornament that they can go in and hide in. Now moving on down here, I took opportunity of the little hole in the shipwreck to place my diver ornament that is holding a camera to look like he's taking a picture inside of the wreck. This setup was actually inspired by real life when I was exploring a wreck and my dad was following behind me with a camera taking a photo of me through the wreck. This ornament came from PetSmart and I believe it was between four and six dollars. And I actually do have some footage of what inspired this scene and so I'm going to show you right now. Now moving on to the middle of the tank, I have this wheel ornament here that as I mentioned in the beginning was the inspiration for this entire tank theme. The netting that you see wrapped around the wheel there is actual cloth material, um, so it does move and if you had a current I suppose it would move in the water as well. Overall I just really like the natural look of the ornament and especially that uh, detail of the netting. The wheel does have a lot of cool details but that is definitely one of my favorites. But as I also mentioned at the beginning, because it was a gift, I cannot tell you where it was from or how much it was. Now moving on over to the right side of the tank, I just have a piece of Malaysian driftwood. And this driftwood I actually got from my cousin. She's a big fish enthusiast as well. So that is where I got that from. So once again, I don't know where it was purchased or where the price was. But I really thought it added to the natural look of the tank. And with the other ornaments, um, like the chest in the back, I think it really works. Now moving on to this ornament here, this is, I believe, a top fin silk plant. I believe I got it for around $5. Now, as I just mentioned, I have this treasure chest in the back that is just tucked behind the driftwood, and I just have this here in the corner just as a subtle detail. It's actually an air automated ornament, and I just have the tubing tucked to the side because I didn't want to actually have it connected to anything. And I just got it from Walmart for about 10 bucks. Even with it closed and having the pearls peeking out, I thought it looked really good, like if you came across a shipwreck scene and you found some treasure. Now next to the chest and just in front of the filter is this silk plant here. And this one I also got on my trip to the States at Petco. And this I believe was around seven to $10. However, that would be in American currency while the rest of the video is in Canadian currency. Now floating on the top of the tank, I just have this floating Zoomed beta log. And I specifically have this in the tank just because it is my betta's favorite, but with the natural look, it still definitely fits in with the theme. But that is the end of my full detailed tour of my shipwrecked themed aquarium. I hope you enjoyed this tour. This is the first one that I've done in a while that has a full theme that I went really in detail. I have a full playlist on tank tours, so make sure you check that out if you want to see more. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it, and make sure you hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this.
If you like this video, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload. But that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.